for the late uh, Pat Collins, won his first race, and he's come along beautifully. Let's go down to uh, Terry Liable. Terry, what have you gleaned being down around the track? Well, Ron, one of the things that you can't help but glean is the fact that there is the hugest crowd I remember at the Queen's Plate. Also, the track is very fast. I consulted with Ron Aspen, the track superintendent, who assured me this track is in the best condition it can be in. And that is appropriate, I think, for the first leg of the Triple Crown. The wind is not a factor. A perfect day for the plate. It's a field of 13 horses, the 131st Queen's Plate. To go 10 furlongs for the call, let's go to Dan Loiseau. Well, thank you very much, Ron. The favorites at 3-5, to five, the King Haven entry, Bundle Bits, and is Vestia. Just one horse to load. That's True Squad. They're at the post. They're off in the Queen's Plate Stakes. This Kandar Lekbar broke well in the center. Toward the inside is Cozine's Prince along with the French King. Roll the dice on the outside along with his Vestia as they move in front of us for the first time. Jorge Velasquez trying to rate French King. He's under a snug hold. Cozine's Prince is eager to run in the lead. This Kandar Lekbar is right there in third. Pat Day has rolled the dice out of trouble on the outside from fourth. Bundle bits the filly in behind a wall of three year olds as entry made his Vestia just to her outside. Then Halo's Honey, the ordinary superstar about six lengths off the lead. True Squad, the very formal, secret and classy. Key timing is next to last. And King Riviera trails this Queen's Plate field. The quarter was in 23 and 2 and half a mile in 47 and 4. It's French King. He's just begging Jorge Velasquez to let him run, but he's there ahead. On the outside, Iskandar Lekbar is second, Cozine's Prince is third, and there goes Advestia. He's rolling on the outside and roll the dice. Runs right with him. They continue along the back stretch. Three quarters was in 113. They're tightly bunched on the front end. Toward the inside with the lead now is Bundlebit. She's making a move. His Vestia is up strong now at the 3 8 pole. It's his Vestia on the outside taking the lead by half a length. Migliori is asking Iskandar Lekbar to stay with him, but his Vestia is accelerating. Seymour takes a peek over his shoulder, and his Vestia widens to three. Iskandar Lekbar is second. Very foremost putting in a weight run on the far outside, but they come to the eighth pole, and his Vestia widens to ten. Iskandar Lekbar and very formal is Vestia. An absolutely brilliant performance. He crushes this field to win the Kings Plate. Very formal comes on second. It looks like Iskandar Lekbar was third. Then a closing secret and classy. Then key timing. Bundle bits. Roll the dice. Cozine's Prince. Halo's Honey. Ordinary superstar. True squad. French King. And King Riviera was the issue ever in doubt. Ron and Jim, what a tremendous performance. Dan, everything old is new again. We have a new Queen's Plate stakes record compliments of donnie seymour on board is vestia the previous mark was 202 flat 201 and four fifths is the time this afternoon that is not a track record but as you suggest and jim i'm sure you'd concur what an awesome showing in this 131st play well he was on the right spot of the track he kept uh, very wide and out of trouble while some other horses got down along the inside Donnie Seymour was very patient on uh, him on the first turn while losing ground, very much like he rode uh, with approval, and he had lots left in the drive. We're not only looking at a really good horse here, we may be looking at another Triple Crown winner. It was all over by the time they came to the 316th pole, as his Vestia had uh, put a lot of distance between himself and every other horse in the race. Let's take nothing away from the second horse, Iskandar Lekbar. Going into the race, it was thought that he wasn't a true mile and a quarter rate horse, but he showed unbelievable grit to keep chasing. He's nine lengths inferior here, and he's going to be 12 lengths inferior as they hit the wire. But on the outside, the number one horse, very formal from Samson Farms, is going to come and take the place award away from him. And on the inside, we see the other Samson run. Time was unbelievable. This was a terrific stretch charge by this horse. Terry Liable, please. Terry. 